Michael with Michael Talks Metal back for another session on some more Hasteloy today. Before we jump in though, how about the 92% of you guys that are watching and haven't subscribed? Help the channel out. Subscribe, hit that little button, or drop one of these if you like it. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Very much appreciative for the support. So, let's jump in. Today's topic is Hasteloy C22. Okay, C22. It's another nickel-based alloy. All Hasteloy names, all alloys, named Hasteloy and then C276, C22, Hasteloy X, any of those, Haynes International. If not, it's Alloy C22. It's Alloy C276. We've been over this. Think you got it. Let's move on. So, what is Hasteloy C22? Good question. Primarily nickel, chromium, molybdenum, tungsten, and iron as the major alloying elements. The UNS designation for this chemical composition is N06022. A solid solution, strengthened material, and very ductile, it can be further strengthened by cold work. And if you wanted to know if it's magnetic, it is non-magnetic in the annealed condition at room temperature. With excellent corrosion resistance in many aggressive chemical environments, and its resistance to both oxidizing and non-oxidizing corrosion, this alloy is often used in chemical processing reactors and heat exchangers. It also finds applications in marine environments where crevice or pitting corrosion is an issue. Higher chromium content provides additional corrosion resistance to oxidizing environments as compared to alloy C276. Now the typical chemical composition AKA the chemistry. Let's do it. Here we go. Right here. Here we are. Okay. What do we got today, folks? We got carbon, 0.01 max. We got chromium, 22%. We got iron, 3%. Manganese, 0.5% max. Molybdenum, 13%. Silicon, 0.08 max. Tungsten, 3%. Cobalt, 2.5% max. Vanadium, 0.35% max, sulfur, 0.03% max, phosphorus, 0.04% max, and lastly, nickel is 56% for the balance. All right, so got the chemistry. Now, density, 0.314 pounds per cubic inch. Typical room temperature mechanical properties in the solution-treated condition carry a yield strength of 50,000 PSI. A tensile strength of 100,000, I'm sorry, a tensile strength of 105,000 PSI, 105 PSI. The elongation is 65%. Now, specifications. And so, what do we do this time? So let's go right here. Now, last week, we played a little game called Jeopardy while we did the specifications. So we'll do it again today because there's no AMS specs. So here we go for your viewing pleasure. You know, those last low noises they make. So there you go, guys. Specs, chemistry. See ya. What am I going to tell you now? I think you know it if you've made it this far before. The specifications and part requirements can add to or modify the information we have presented today. And so for the 48th time, I'm going to tell you. I'll remind you. Don't worry. I got you. Check. The specs. So this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. Thank you guys for tuning in. I very much appreciate it. If you missed any of the previous videos, there they are. Check them out. Appreciate it. Haven't subscribed yet and you're still here? There we go. Whoop. Appreciate it. Thank you. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I will see you guys next Thursday, 10 a.m. Thank you for watching. I'm out.